नहि प्रपश्यामि ममापनुद्याद नहि प्रपश्यामि ममापनुद्याद यश्चो कमुच्चो सनोमिंद्रियानाम यश्चो कमुच्चो सनोमिंद्रियानाम अवाप्य भूमा वसपत्नमृद्धम अवाप्य भूमा वसपत्नमृद्धम राजं सुराना मपिचाधिपत्यम राजं सुराना मपिचाधिपत्यम Translation I can find no means to drive away this grief which is drying up my senses I will not be able to destroy it even if I win an unrivaled kingdom on the earth with sovereignty like the demigods in heaven Rahi prapasami mamapunudya This is the position of material existence. We are sometimes in difficulty, not sometimes, always. We are in difficulty, but we call it sometimes because to get over the difficulty we make some attempt and that attempt making is taken as happiness. Actually, there is no happiness. But sometimes, with the hope that by this attempt I shall become happy in future, as the so-called scientists are dreaming, in future we shall become without death. So many that dream. But those are sane person. They say, trust no future, have our pleasure. So that is the actual position. Nahi prapasyami mama pudya. Therefore he has approached Krishna. Shishyasneham. I, now I become your shishya. Why you have come to me? Because I know nobody else can save me from this dangerous position. This is real sense. Jatsho kamucha sanam indriya. Ucchho sanam. When we are put into great difficulties, it dries up the existence of the senses. No sense enjoyment also can make us happy. Ucchho sanam indriyana. Here happiness means sense gratification. Actually this is not happiness. Real happiness is described in the Bhagavad Gita. Atindyam sukham atantikam jat tat atindyam. Real happiness, atantikam, supreme happiness, is not enjoyed by the senses. Atindyam, surpassing, transcendental to the senses. That is real happiness. But we have taken happiness as sense enjoyment. So by sense enjoyment nobody can become happy because we are in the material existence and our senses are false senses. Real sense is spiritual sense. So we have to awaken our spiritual consciousness, then by spiritual senses we can enjoy. Sukham atam tikam otindriya surpassing these senses. Surpassing these senses means, these senses means common, just like I am, this body. Actually I am not this body. I am spirit soul, but this is the covering of my real body, spiritual body. Similarly, spiritual body has spiritual senses, not that nilaka. Why nilaka? It is a common sense affair. Just like if you have got one or two hands, you have got two hands. Therefore, when the hand is covered by some cloth, the cloth also gets a hand. <coughs> because I have got hand, therefore my dress has got a hand. Because I have got my legs, therefore my covering dress has got legs, pant. The common sense. Where from this body came, this body is described by Shamsi, garments. So garment means it is cut according to the body. 
That is garment. Not that my body is made according to the garment. It is common sense. So when I have got hands of my heart, uh, this is my subtle body or brass body. Therefore, originally, spiritually, I have got my hands and legs. Otherwise, how it comes, how it is developed. So originally, we are all person, no impersonal. Krishna also says, he will say, that, that these soldiers, these kings, you and me, my dear Arjuna, it is not that we did not exist in the past, neither it is that in future we shall cease to exist. So this particular instruction of Krishna, that I, you, and all these kings and soldiers who have assembled here, they existed as we are existing now, individual person. Similarly, they existed, individual person. And in future also we shall exist as individual person. So where is the question of impersonal? This nonsense impersonalist, voidist, therefore, the principle is to understand things in reality. One has to approach Krishna as Arjuna has approached. Shishya, Sthayam. Now I am your disciple. Just teach me, Sadhima, Prapanna. I am surrendering. I am not trying to talk with you on equal level. To accept Guru means whatever Guru says, you have to accept. Otherwise, don't make guru. Don't make a fashion. You must be ready. That is called prapanna. That with the pranipatena. You can understand simply by surrendering. Not to test guru. I shall test him. How much he knows. Then what is the use of making guru? No. Therefore, Arjun says that besides you, there is nobody else who can actually satisfy me in this perplexed condition. Yachukamuchosanamindriyana. My senses are being dried up because the superficial senses that are not actually senses, real sense is within. Rishikina Rishikisha Srivanam. We have to set Krishna, Rishikesha. Krishna is real. And we have to come to that position of reality, then we can serve Krishna. Rishikena, Tatparatena, Nirmala. When our senses are purified, Indriyani Pararahu, Indriya Bhaparamana, Manasastu Parabuddhi, these are different stages. This bodily concept of life means senses. But when you transcend, these senses, you come to the mental platform. When you transcend the mental platform, you come to the intellectual platform. When you come to the intellectual platform, when you transcend, then you come to the spiritual platform. There is spiritual form. There are different grades and steps in the gross bodily platform. We demand pratakha jnana. Pratakha means direct perception. There are different stages of knowledge. Pratakya, aparakya, pratakya, parakya, aparakya, adhokhaja, aprakita. These are different stages of knowledge. So knowledge acquired in the bodily platform, direct perception, is not real knowledge. Therefore we can challenge the science, so-called scientists. The basic principle of knowledge is on the bodily concept of life, pratta, experimental knowledge. Experimental knowledge means this gross sense perception. That is experiment, pratta. Everyone says, we do not see God. God is not such a subject matter that you can see with this pratyakha, direct perception. God's another name is anubhava. 
অনুভব জাস্ট লাইক ইন দিস রুম উই ডু নট সি দিস সান ডাইরেক্টলি বাট উই নো দ্যাট দেয়ার ইজ সান ইট ইজ ডে টাইম হাউ ডু নো ইট ইউ ডু নট সি বাট দেয়ার আর আদার প্রসেসেস বাই হুইচ ইউ ক্যান এক্সপিরিয়েন্স দ্যাট ইজ কল অপরক্ষ প্রত্যক্ষ পরক্ষ অপরক্ষ ইন দিস ওয়ে কৃষ্ণ কনসিয়াসনেস মিন্স অধুক্ষজ অ্যান্ড অপ্রাকৃত বিয়ন্ড দি সেন্সেস দ্যাট ভগবদ্গীতা ইট ইজ সে অধুক্ষজ where direct perception cannot reach. So where direct perception cannot reach, then how you can perceive Anubhav? That is Sruta Pantha. That is Sruti. You have to take knowledge from the Veda. And the Vedic knowledge is explained by Guru. Therefore, one has to take shelter of Krishna as the Supreme Guru or his representative. Then all these troubles means ignorance can be dissipated. Tatcho Pucha Sanam Indriyana. So now Krishna may say that that's all right, you are for temporarily gone fighting, and when you get the kingdom, you'll be happy. There's no need of making a guru, neither it is just like ordinary men, they think so. That we are earning so much money. What is the use of making a guru? I can understand everything in my own way. And another rascal is, yes, Jatama Tatama. What about their opinion? That's all right. You can make your own opinion. That is going on. You can make your own opinion to understand God. All foolish rascals they are making their own opinion. No. That is not possible. Therefore, Arjun says, Abhapa Bhuvo Asapatna Rizham. This is a very significant word. Sapatni. Sapatni means rival wife, co-wife. If a man has got two, three wives, why two, three? Our Lord had sixteen thousand one hundred. This is God. So Sapatna, but there is no competition. He'll find in the statements of all the queens in Krishna book, when they are talking with Draupadi, every wife was giving description. Yeah. How much she was anxious to become maid servant of Krishna. Nobody is driver in the material world. If a man has got more than one wife, there is rival. Rival. This example is given in the Srimad Bhagavatam that just like we have got our senses, similarly, if somebody has got a different wife, so one wife is snatching him that you come to my room, another wife is snatching, you come to my room, because he is perplexed. Similarly, we have got the wife, the senses, the eyes are dragging, please come to the cinema. The tongue is dragging, please come to the restaurant. The hand is driving somewhere, else. the leg is driving somewhere. Our position is like that. The same man who has got different wives and dragging him in different rooms. This is our position. So, why this position? Because these wives are rivals. Here, also possible. If there are many kings to claim one property, there is difficulty. And what Dun says, Obapabhumao Asapatna Ridyam, getting riches for which there is no other claimant. I am the only proprietor. Even if I get such riches, Rajyam, such kingdom, Suranam Opichadipattam, not only kingdom of this world, but also kingdom of higher planetary system. These men are trying to go to the moon planet, but that is also another kingdom, another kingdom. So that kingdom belongs to the higher living entities, those who are known as demigods. They are very powerful. Just like Indra 
Indra is very powerful controller of the rains. He has got a thunderbolt. But people do not believe this. But we believe. What is described in the Vedic literature, not believe, you have to believe. This is fact. Where from this thunderbolt is coming? Who is arranging for the rain? There must be some director. As in government state, there are so many departmental management. And similarly, in God's government, there must be so many directors, huh? so many officers. They are called demigods. Devurshi Bhutato Niram Kitrina. Devuta, the demigods, they are also supplying us by the order of Krishna. Just like Indra. Indra is supplying us. That means Indra Yoga. There is sacrifice for satisfying the different demigods. Krishna stopped this Indra Yoga in no Govardhan. When Nanda Maharaj was arranging for Indra Yoga, Krishna said, My dear father, there is no need of Indra Yoga. That means anyone who is Krishna conscious, for him there is no need of any yoga. Especially in this age, Kali Yuga, it is very difficult to perform different types of yoga that was possible in the Tita Yuga. Kīti Vishnu tītāyāṁ yajato makhai. Makhai means yoga, perform yoga. Yajñārthi karmanna tru lūkāyum karma vandana. So these formulas, this direction, nobody is following. It is not possible in this age. Therefore, the Shastra injunction is Jagai Sankirtanai Prayai Jajanti Hisume Dasa. Those who have got good brain substance. So, instead of bothering with so many things, one performs Sankirtan Jagga. These are the statements in the Shastra. Krishna Varnam Tisha Krishna Sangha Panga Asta Parsadam Jagai Sankirtanai Prayai Jajanti Hisumedasa. So here, in this room especially, Krishna Varnam Tisha Krishna, here is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He is Krishna himself, but his complexion is O Krishna, not black. Krishna Varnam, Tisha, Tisha means by complex. O Krishna, your life. Sangha Panga Asta And he is accompanied by his associates, Nityananda Prabhu, Adyayita Prabhu, Sivasadi Gaur Bhakta. This is the worshipable deity in this age. Krishna Varnam, Tisha. So what is the process of worship? Jagai Sankirtanai Prayai. Jajanti hi sumedasa. This Sankirtan Jagga as we are performing before Lord Chaitanya, Nityananda and others. This is the perfect performance of Jagga in this age. Otherwise, no other. Therefore, it is becoming successful. This is the only prescribed Jagga. Other Jaggas, Rajasriya Jagga, this Jagga, there are so many Jaggas. And sometimes in India uh, they perform the so-called yoga, they collect some money, that's all. It, it cannot be successful because there is no jagik Brahman. The jagik Brahman is not in existence at the present moment. The jagik Brahman used to test how correctly they are pronouncing Vedic mantra. The test was that one animal should be put into the fire and he would again come with fresh young body. Then it is tested that the yagya is being performed nicely. The brāhmaṇa, the jāgīt brāhmaṇa, they are pronouncing the Veda mantra correctly. This is the test. But where is that brāhmaṇa in this age? Therefore, no jagga is recommended. Kalo pancha vibharja. Asamedam abhalambham. Sannyasam palapaitrikam. Devaraina sutatpati. Kalo pancha vibharja. So there is no jagga in this age. There is no jagging Brahma. This is the only jagga. Chant Hare Krishna mantra and dance in ecstasy. 
किसी दौर नहीं होती सो राज्यम सुराना मुपिचाधिपत्तम फॉर्मली देर वैर मेनी डिमांड्स हु कॉम कार्ड ओवर द किंगडम ऑफ द देवी गॉड राज्यम सुराना मुपिचाधिपत्तम जैसे हिरण ना कोशिश को ही स्प्रेड ही अथॉरिटी इवन ओवर द किंगडम ऑफ इंद्र इंद्रारी बैकुलम लोके मिलायंती जुगे जुगे इंद्रारी इंद्रारी मीन्स द एनिमी ऑफ इंद्र Indra is the king of the heavenly planet, and enemy means the demon, the demigod, and the enemy demon. Just like we have got many enemies, because we are chanting Hari Krishna mantra, there are so many critics and so many enemies also. They do not like. So this is always now it, the number has increased. Formerly there are some, now there are many. So therefore, indrari bhakulam lokam. When these demons, the population, demonic population increases, then bhakulam lokam. People become perplexed. Indrari bhakulam lokam. Mrayanti juge juge. So at that time Krishna comes. Eti chaam sukalapam cha Krishna stu bhagavan sayam. There are least of names of the incarnation of Krishna and God. But After mentioning all the names, the Bhagavad indicates that all the names listed here with they are partial representation of Krishna. But the name Krishna is there; he is real, original personality. Krishna is too Bhagavan sa, and he comes in the early Vaikulam Loki when people are too much embarrassed by the. Unslaught of the demons, he comes, and he also confirms. This is shastra. One shastra says he comes in this condition, and Krishna says, "Yes, jada jada hi dharma sarv brani bhavati bharat tadatma nansijam maho." At that time, I come. So in this kalyuga, people are so much disturbed. Therefore, Krishna has come in the form of his name. Hare Krishna. Krishna has come not personally, but by his name. But because Krishna is absolute, there is no difference between his name and himself. Abhinatyat nama nami na nama chinta mani Krishna chaitanya rasa vidra purna sudha nitta mukta name is full as Krishna is full complete. Similarly, Krishna's name is also full, complete. Shuddha, it is not material things. Purna, Shuddha, Nitta, Itana. As Krishna is Itana, the name is also Itana. Purna, Shuddha, Nitta, Mukta. There is no material conception in chanting Hari Krishna mantra. Abhinna, Tyad Nama Nama, Nama, the Holy Name and the Lord, they are Abhinna identical. So. We cannot be happy. Rajang Surana Mopichadi Bhatta. Even if we get the kingdom of the demigods, or suppose without any rival, still we cannot be happy. So long we have got material conception of life, it is not possible. That is explained in these words. Thank you very much. That's all.